Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Rechakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutation, much love and respect to you. I came out there pushing this word out in truth and sincerity. Uh, this is going to be an exhortation to you, I came out there, not to be worried about these women, okay? Because ultimately, you are the valuable one, okay? Don't ever get that twisted in your mind. You have to actually believe that. I know that we were, we're we've been in a society so long that subconsciously you, you know, you revere them as something, you know, something more than what they are, but. Ultimately, you have to practice in your mind to understand, right, that you are the head. You are above them, not equal, but above them. That's according to the Holy Scriptures. All right. And in the times that's to come, they will need men. You understand what I mean? They're going to need men. And it's going to be very evident very soon. We have famines coming. You know, we have, um, you know, the death mass death cannibalism uh you know wild beasts that are going to be in the cities there's a lot of tribulation a lot of things that are getting ready to happen and this pride that they have now is going to uh this uh, how do you say dissipate okay it's going to dissipate it's going to it's going to be uh destroyed it's going to be brought low and overnight they're going to turn into submissive uh women like the ancient world okay now, what I want to do is, I want to get, <clears throat> I want to get Second Ezra to sixteen chapter and it's the thirty three ver thirty third verse, and it says, "The virgin shall mourn, having no bridegrooms. Woman shall mourn, having no husbands." Their daughters shall mourn, having no helpers. Okay, in the war shall their bridegrooms be destroyed, and their husbands shall perish of famine. And guess what? They're going to need a man of the Lord in order to uh, be be protected or be sustained. Or really, if they get any man, that's going to at least help them <laughs> for a time period. But a man of the Lord is what uh, is where the deliverance is at. Okay. But a man can protect them for a certain amount of time, okay? You see? But the ones that are in that spirit of, I don't need no man, I'm better than you, they put their nose up, they're going to be the ones in the most with the most tribulation. So don't let that affect you. Matter of fact, when those things happen, and let's say you're in a situation and you get disrespected or you get looked down upon or whatever the case is, you should that, that should make you happy because you know what? You know, <laughs> just wait. You just wait. Okay, because ultimately uh, we're going to win. Okay, the elect is going to win. Hear now these things and understand them, ye servants of the Lord, because the servants of the Lord have <laughs> have a victory coming, man. Let's get on. This is Isaiah 65. In verse 13, it says, Therefore, thus saith the Lord, Behold, my servant shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. Behold, my servant shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. Behold, my servant shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. So, <laughs> we're going to rejoice. We're going to be eating. We're going to be having uh, a good time in contrast to their time. Their time is going to be a, an evil time. Okay? And even though we're going to be part of the evil time, um, Ultimately, we flourish when the time of judgment comes. The prophets and the men of the Lord flourish in the time of judgment. While while everything is good and everything is is is, is as it always was, um, the wicked flourish. These people flourish. That the masses flourish. The world flourishes. You see. It says, "Behold, my servant shall sing for joy of heart, but ye shall." cry for sorrow of heart and shall howl for vexation of spirit and we have the reason why we're going to be in that, that spirit is because first of all we've been waiting for this and secondly 
I, sh I should have said, first of all, we have the Holy Spirit. Secondly, we've been waiting for this. Okay? But the Holy Spirit is what is what is what comforts us. It's the comforter, not uh, Tazadakia. The Holy Spirit is the comforter, and which comforts us. The understanding of these scriptures, man, which keeps us stable, and especially in the times to come. So when when they see a man that's stable mentally, in that time amongst, that's to them that's gonna be like that's gonna be like salvation, you know. This is Isaiah thirty three and six. It says, and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. The fear of the Lord is our treasure. You see, and um, that's when, when you look up the traits of, of masculine traits, it says that uh, one of the, the things that it says is emotional stability. This is why they rely on men because of emotional stability. The ones that have common sense, at least. All right. This is uh, it, it's because we have the emotional stability. They don't have emotional stability. OK. You see, they worry about every little thing and, you know, they doubt, you know, but a, man, and, and a, a true man is, is, is emotionally stable. He doesn't just, you know, uh, his, his feelings don't just go in the wind, you know. So this this is how the elect is going to be in the time of great tribulation. Hmm. Let's get um. <clears throat> let's get Micah seven and ten because you see a lot of these scoffers, and I would say the majority is really these <laughs> these women, man, because they're, they're, there's more of them on the planet than us, and they're more wicked than men you know so even if a man sees something he might not he might be he might not necessarily have an opinion on him and say okay they're doing that but i'm not that's not for me but then the demons on on these women will have them to scoff and to, to, to think evil and and we've seen that we see that in the camp you know the main ones that be passing by and la really it'd be the, the it'd be eve okay laughing <laughs> you know but it's okay because the time that come the time that's coming there's going to be um, a great, there's going to be great death, you know, there's going to be great death, and not just Eve, all of them too, okay, but one of the, you know, but you know Eve, you know, <laughs> you know she is, okay, but ultimately, you know, there's going to be a time of great uh, judgment, great death, and great fear, there's going to be fear put upon, up, upon mankind, period, so in that time, all that feminism, all that nonsense is going to go out the window. They ain't going to worry about whether your beard is trimmed up. Now, if you, you know, if your shoelace is untied, you know, or whatever, that I, I, I'm not feeling him, you know, <laughs> you know, that that's how it is, man. Literally, man. Okay. That's how they, that's how they think they're looking to disqualify you. But in the time that we're getting ready to come, there's not going to be no pickiness. They're going to be like that one woman, that one <laughs> Hamite woman. Says, I don't care if you're broke. I don't care if you're, as long as you're breathing. Yeah, they're just going to care if we're breathing. They're not going to care if, we're, if we got money or if we if we driving a, a Mercedes. All right? That time is out the window, man. Okay? And even now, the, the vibe, first of all, the things that they like, let me tell you, let me tell you a secret. They don't like men that's all into them. They like men that are, that, are, that really uh, know that they're better than them. Because if you don't, if you don't have the mindset you're better than them, what the hell do they need you for? Because they're looking, for, really, in their spirit, they know that men are their lords. Let's just keep it 100%. That's why you had in the ancient world, they say, oh, my, my lord, my lord. Oh no, my lord! No, my, random men they see on the street. If they ask them a question, okay, oh, do you know where this kingdom is? Oh no, my no, my lord! I'm not sure. because they understood their their role. They understood their place. Okay. Nowadays they don't understand it. But if you don't have the mentality, if you don't understand your place, then why the hell would she understand? It? That, you know, that's another thing, man. And you guys be putting your whole your whole all into into them, especially in this kingdom. You're looking to take a, a huge L. You're looking to take a huge L, man. Okay? I'll tell you that right now. Okay? <laughs> man, anyways, man. It says, in, in the day that thy walls are built. Oh, Salak. I didn't even see. I didn't even read the script. Uh, 10, Salak. Let me read 10. It says, um, then she that is mine enemy shall see it, and shame shall cover her, which shed unto me. Where is Yahweh thy power? 
for mine eye shall behold her. Now shall she be trodden down as the mire of the streets. And that's what's getting ready to happen to the mass majority of them. When you read Ezekiel 9 on uh, after 4, you know, it specifically says that, um, that, uh, you know, it, it, judgment is coming to everybody, you know, men, women, and it, said, and it really mentions women twice. It says maids, little children, and women. A maid is a young woman, okay? So there's going to be a lot of death, you know, a lot of uh, tribulation coming to them. Um, Isaiah 32, it says, uh, well, I can get it. Let me get it. This is Isaiah 32 and verse um verse 9 it says rise up ye women that are at ease hear my voice ye careless daughters because they're super careless man they're they don't have a care in the world you know they're living on the, the only fans you know they're, they're they're showing their butt all over the place they wearing what they want to do being disobedient you know as usual okay and and just being careless man you know but then when this judgment comes that's when uh, so uh, sobriety and and humility is going to hit them okay give ear unto my speech many days and years shall ye be troubled ye careless women for the vintage shall fail and the gathering shall not come the gathering will not come okay you're not going to the, the welfare check the child support check whatever government check you're getting even the, the job check you're getting most of y'all are about to lose your job Okay, and soon they're going to be offering you, you know, a series of, of juices, and then after the series of juices, they're going to be offering you the um the MOTB. All right, and I could have, <laughs> man, you could already see them complying with this this whole system they have setting up with the metaverse and all this madness, you know, because Esau wants to create a virtual reality where you can be. Where, where that's where your life is that's where your fun is that's what your expectation is of virtual reality you know you can be who you want to be in this virtual reality not in real life you won't own anything in real life but but you own a you own a house in the metaverse okay and they, they'll be asking you'll be, you be talking to a chick but, oh yo let me get your number mom my, my number why do you want my number get what's your metaverse what's your metaverse you know, what's your metaverse? You know? And then they'll look at the metaverse and say, oh, man, I, I, don't like, I, don't like the, I don't like the jeans he has on the metaverse. Not, I can't deal with this guy. He don't have enough jeans. He don't have the good, the, the nice pair of pants in the metaverse. You know? This is the world that we're coming to. We're coming to a real weirdo, bizarro, as if this wasn't bizarre enough, man. And they're pushing this transformer thing on a high level. Okay, so this this place is getting weirder and weirder, but we can see that judgment is increasing more and more. Okay, and it's about to be a a great uh, flood of judgment. Okay, and it's gonna it's gonna man, it's coming it's coming like uh, like those birth pains. All right, first it starts off hours apart, then it comes closer and closer, and then then it then it happens basically every second, man, every other second, and and it's and it gets more intense. <clears throat> and that's what we're coming to when that famine hits oh you will know you will know that y'all by shim y'all shy is, 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 is speaking and if you don't know by that time then you're gonna know by the time that 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 the majority of these plagues hit okay you're gonna know okay <clears throat> and uh yeah and, and and by the way by the way i can just to let you know Isaiah 4 and 1 is still coming, all right? Isaiah 4 and 1 still got to come to pass, man, all right? Which we know it, you know? We know it, by, we know it basically by heart. We don't even got to read it. It says, and in that day, seven women shall take hold of one man, saying, we will eat our own bread and wear our own apparel. Only let us be called by thy name to take away our reproach. And that is where we are coming to, all right? That is where we are coming to. We're coming to where a man shall be as a hiding place from the wind, all right, hiding place from the wind. Wind meaning what? The the, the 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 tribulation, okay. But guess what? Most of them, you see the way they're acting and they're picky and they're hey, I don't like his nails. We're gonna be like that with them. We're gonna scrutinize. We're gonna look around. I don't, I don't like the way I don't like the way her. She has a couple split ends. 
I don't like that. I don't like those 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 witch nails she got. I don't like those nails. I don't like that. All right, we're gonna be on that level, and we're gonna be scrutinized, and really, it's gonna be more. It's gonna be even <clears throat> deeper on a spiritual level. Okay, uh, you know, if the spirit don't want you to, to 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 be attached to a man of the Lord, you're not gonna be attached. Okay. Because the spirit's gonna find out if you're right or if you're wicked, you know. So, anyways, with that, I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to y'all. By Shemel Shai, by Shemel I don't want to make this long. That's a quick uh, lesson, you know, for you, Akim, not to be too caught up in these women. Because ultimately, yo, know, the victory is right around the corner. What, what do we need to worry about? The victory is right around the corner. You know, don't be worried about it. Don't be all, you know. I mean, get what you can get, but don't be. So immersed that you can't sleep and <laughs> you don't know be in that spirit. You know, so with that I wanna say uh shalom, Yabashim Yashai Brakata Brakatham to you to you sincere Aki.